John, when we first met, I would have never imagined we would be here on our wedding day. In the beginning, you made me nervous. I wondered why you kept asking me hard questions like, what kind of music do you listen to? Or what kind of TV shows are you into? Your direct and opinionated nature was both admirable and intimidating. Yet you eventually made me feel comfortable, particularly on the day you showed up at my room with Netflix and the new season of Gilmore Girls. I remember in one of the lectures we attended, we talked about the politics of manspreading, and you showed me how I could get comfortable taking up space. With you, I have become more confident in my own skin and secure in my place in the world. Thank you for giving me a space in your life. I'm so excited about the future we are sharing. I know that we will always be exploring new places, meeting new people, and learning new things, and that you'll be an amazing husband and father. Dear Lycia, the time we have spent together have been the best years of my life. I am constantly amazed, intrigued and ensnared by your intelligence, independence, wit and curiosity. You inspire me to be a better man and to do better in all facets of life. I love you more than I can put into words, but I'm going to attempt to do so. I love how you look at the world, always checking your thinking and trying to understand others' points of view. That no task is too big or too small for you to give it a go that nothing stops you from working toward what you want. I love spending time with you no matter how menial or extreme, whether we are wasting a morning in bed, uh, climbing a mountain or hiding from the tropical heat, sharing a fan in a some tiny hut. The time never feels wasted. I love sharing this life with you. It's hard to have a bad day waking up next to you. John, you showed up in my life when I least expected you, but right when I needed you most. Over the last three years, you have provided me with unconditional love and support and shown me that life is wonderful even when it's difficult. Thank you for always being honest and true to yourself. Today, I take you as my husband and am ready to share in your good times and your bad for the rest of our lives. Since meeting you, life has only gotten better. It's hard to wake up on the wrong side of the bed when I wake up looking at you, even when you steal all the blankets. I am constantly amazed, intrigued and ensnared by your intelligence, independence, wit, curiosity and beauty. It is now my great honour to pronounce you husband and wife. May your future fulfil the promises of today. You may now kiss your bride. Woo! Your personality's always been infectious, mate, and it hasn't changed. I find myself copying your sayings, your mannerisms, enjoying even your horrible taste in music. I even notice it, and I'm still living in a different time zone now, mate. I hate to admit it, but you're always someone I've looked up to. And that's before you even became the wholesome man that you are today. So there are many reasons why we love Lycia. She is a curious cat, who always wants to know how the world works, what makes people tick, and she also keeps us curious. So you can always count on her for a good adventure, as well as a good shoulder to lean on. There's also how she's multiple people in one. She's an engineer, a teacher, a researcher, a sports scientist, a streamstress. She's also a sailor, along with John, a yoga enthusiast, a loving daughter and sister, and a great best friend. <laughs>